Hello, in this video we're going to show you the page view container object. A page view basically allows you to group items in pages. An example of this is on a level select screen such as the game Angry Birds and many other games as well, they basically have pages. So when you scroll, you go to another section of items. It's not free scrolling like the scroll view is. So if you want something that snaps to a certain section of page view if you want something that's more of a smooth scroll that's the scroll view so we're gonna be dealing with page view so let's drag this onto the screen pretty simple you can set the size to whatever you want but I'm just gonna leave it as default if you put a background here pretty simple how to add a background you can either double click and import one like so or you can or you can drag one from your resources and then you can enable scale 9 grid or you can do the fill which is non solid change the color right here I'm gonna leave that as it is you can change the gradient as well then put a start and color opacity direction and with solid you've also got an opacity as well so if you want the objects underneath to be visible or slightly visible you can decrease this opacity like so I can just input a number into there to actually add items to it you can't add items directly what you need to first do is add a panel to your page view basically each page has its own panel and the easiest way to add multiple panels is get a panel and drop it onto the section down here and then do the same for your next panel and the next one and as you can see it's positioning them from left to right automatically we don't need to handle any of that stuff so if we were to run this now and now let's zoom out as you can see i can scroll between them doesn't look the best because at the moment one you can see the panel outside of the size of the page view and two there's nothing on it so first of all if we remove clipping no sorry that was clipping for the panel i mean for the page view enable clipping as you can see i can only see the panel that's within the size of the page view but obviously we got nothing in there so you don't even know if it's scrolling but so let's add some objects now let's just keep it simple let's add for the panel one i'm going to add a button so by default it just positions in the bottom left pretty easy to reposition it let's just do this and add a checkbox as well and now for the next panel i'm gonna add an object there Positioning, I know my panel is roughly that size. Add an image, but I'm actually going to leave that there so you can see what happens. And for the final panel, I'm just going to put a label. Okie dokie, select the text. And uh, now let's just reposition this. So if I were to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add 50 pixels. Add 50 pixels in the Y. I'm gonna change the text inside to say something like, "Oh yeah, Duff Man." And now if we run this, now let's just zoom out and as you can see we can't see any of the objects from the other panels except for this one because obviously it was slightly within the first panel so you generally wouldn't want that and I can click and obviously if I click and drag I can switch between the panels I didn't position this well enough but that's just experimentation so that's what the page view is it allows you to have pages such as a level select screen or some sort of setting screen because Mobile devices are small, even with an iPad, if you've got a lot of items, a lot of data to show to the user, it can get quite messy if you're trying to put it all on one screen. So page view really helps with this. So we haven't showed you how to actually access your page view within your project be that cocos 2dx or cocos 2djs but don't worry there will be a link in the description to our cocos api guide which shows you how to access it using code the reason we're not showing you in this video is because it's not actually part of cocos studio because cocos studio doesn't support coding 
If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.